nothing gives me more joy than when Madeline rings the bell. Gung, 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 gung. It's time to film. Ice cream lovers, my name's Steve Christensen. Welcome to Scoop School. Nice to have you here. Nice quick video today. I talk all the time about what makes ice cream shops successful. It's not necessarily one thing, it's layers. 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 Before we jump into it though, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Green Mountain Flavors. Stan, Laura, all of the crew up there, they specialize in specialty extracts, all natural colors, all natural flavors. Green Mountain Flavors, the link is down below. But if you have any questions, talk to Stan. He's a food scientist, one of the smartest men in flavoring. And I'll stand by it. Okay, so um, again, there's just little things that you can do to create what I call the theater of ice cream. The theater of ice cream is basically when you come into an ice cream shop, there's always gotta be things happening. There's a little bit of this happening. You're prepping products here, putting little things here, waffle cones over here, sprinkling, uh, sprinkling sprinkles here. And I've always been a big supporter of people buying a stainless steel bucket. This is gonna cost you around 40 or 50 bucks. I actually bought this from a link on Amazon. That link is down below. So you can buy this very self-same bucket. Now, the reason why I like having a stainless steel bucket, particularly if you're batch freezing, where people can look at your operation, or soft serving, you can actually pour your mix into this bucket with the flavoring in here and then bring it out where the customers can see and pour this stainless steel bucket into the hoppers of your soft serve machine. Maybe you've got a uh, pump soft serve machine, so you're kind of pouring it down underneath, pouring it in your batch freezer. It gives the impression that you've just basically walked in, dropped off your galoshes, milked the cow, come in and pour in this beautiful fresh ice cream mix into your machine. It's just one of those things where it looks a whole lot better than a two and a half gallon plastic bag. I recommend you use this. It's, you might say it's a bit kitschy, but I say it adds just another layer to people coming to your ice cream shop and saying, you know what? I don't know what it is about this place, but I just love coming here. There's so many little nuances to this ice cream shop that I'll drive past four or five other ice cream shops to get here and that's what it's all about. Interested to see if you have one. If you don't, I think it's a low cost to create that little bit more atmosphere in your store. Again, the link for it is down below. Now, it's an affiliate link. What's the affiliate link I hear you say? Well, if you buy on that link, it actually doesn't cost you any more. It'll cost you the same, but Amazon sends me a little sugar for me telling you about that bucket. So look, if you wanna buy it, you can buy it anywhere. If you wanna buy it and help me out a little bit, um, you can use the link down below. While you're down below there, check out Green Mountain Flavors. Look, while you're also down there, click like and subscribe and perhaps leave a comment. We love hearing from people in the ice cream industry. That's all we have for this episode. Keep on scooping. See you in the next video.